Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking to you about how to polar align the Skywatcher Star Adventure. If this is your first time here, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you never miss an upload. Now before we start, I just want to say I did want to shoot this video outside, however it's currently raining quite heavily and it's also very windy. Okay, step one. This one is a really easy one but it's also very important that you don't overlook it. And that is where you're gonna set up your equipment in relation to where you want to image or observe in the night sky. So for example, I know at the minute, if I want to shoot the Orion Nebula, I need to be stood in the top right-hand corner of my garden. If I'm stood against my house on that sort of um, area, I'm not gonna be able to see the Orion Nebula to be able to shoot it because my neighbor's house is gonna be in the way. If you've planned ahead with what you're going to image, then that makes it really easy later on because you know that you're set up in the right place and you won't have to do your polar alignment again. And I know this from experience of polar aligning first and then going, OK, what shall I image tonight? And then you look at a target and think, ah, yeah, that would be a nice one to image, but I can't see it. I need to move. And then you're going to have to start this whole process again. Step number two, find north, point the star adventurer towards it. So this is your, uh, the end of the periscope here that you're going to look through. So you want to make sure that that is facing north. Um, some people will tell you to level your tripod first. I find it easier to, put, uh, to point north first for the simple reason being you can level your tripod after you know that it's in the correct position. But if you level it first and then find north, you're going to probably have to re-level your tripod anyway. To find north, I just use the... Um, the app on my phone i've got i've got an iphone so just the built-in compass app on the phone i find works fine i just i just rest my phone on the top of the battery cover there um, and i just move the tripod in relation to where it's telling me that north is i generally image from my back garden so i've got a pretty good idea of where north is already which which is pretty helpful step three once you've found north you want to level your tripod now the star adventurer the uh, equatorial wedge actually has a bubble on it just there so you can see whether or not you're level. Um, so you want to go ahead and level your tripod and then make sure if you've got, I've got twist locks on my, um, on my tripod. So uh, just make sure that they're nice and tight. Step number four, set your latitude to your location. So my location in the UK, I'm about 51 degrees latitude. So you've got an adjustment bolt on the front here or alternatively, you can unlock this clutch on the side and it just makes uh, adjusting it much easier and make sure that you lock that off at the end. Step number five, remove the periscope cover, remove the cap from this end, crouch down and look through the periscope and you should be able to see Polaris within the field of view. If you can't, you're either not pointing close enough to north or your latitude isn't quite accurate enough for your location. So make some small adjustments in your in your latitude or uh, or north and it will come into the field of view once those two things are accurate enough step six you're going to open up a an app on your phone to find the position of polaris in relation to your location and what time of day it is i use the sam console app that's the star adventure mini app um, if you've got the mini you can actually use that app to control your star adventure but that doesn't work for the for its big brother here, um, but you can still use the the Poloscope utility within that app. Um, another app that I also use is PS Align, which has got um, a choice of loads of different reticles depending on what um, what mount you're you're using. Because each Poloscope, as you look through it, each one um, varies slightly differently in how it looks. So the HEQ5 that I have actually looks different to um, to the view that I have through this Poloscope. So I use PS Align for that. Step seven, once you know the position of Polaris, you're gonna use your latitude bolt and your azimuth bolts to make small adjustments until Polaris is in the exact same position in your polar scope as it is showing on the SAM console app. And once you've done that, don't forget, you'll need to turn the mount on so that in order for it to keep its tracking. Now, before you crouch down and start making adjustments, one important thing to do is to loosen the clutch on your Star Adventurer and turn the mount so that when you look through the polar scope, 
the number six is at the bottom and the zero is at the top. And that will give you the exact same view as you can see through the SAM console app. So now, so I know that when my bolt is at the up and the straight up position like this in alignment with the polar scope, I know that number six is at the top. So I can now crouch down and make my small adjustments based on the position of Polaris. Okay, so now that we've got Polaris in the exact same position as it is on the SAM console app, we're going to go ahead and turn our mount on to Celestial Tracking. That will track at the same speed as the stars are moving across the sky. And that is our mount polar aligned and ready for an imaging session. What you will then do at this point is loosen the clutch back off, turn this back round and mount your equipment in here. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, I do have another video where I give a whole overview of the capabilities of the Star Adventurer, where I also share with you a couple of images that I've taken using this equipment, and you can find that video linked just here.